I have the Spider-Man Obama. Yes, it's three ninety nine. All the buzz about this, a second edition of Marvel's Spider-Man comic with President Barack Obama on the cover and in trouble within the pages. It's the most collectible comic book out there right now. The first Obama edition sold out here in hours, so employees ordered more this time. It's bringing in money. It's bringing in people, not normal comic book readers, but it's, it's bringing in uh, lots of people. One of them, Debbie Caldwell, not a collector, she's on vacation from Canada, and snagging this comic is priority. I think it's impressive, especially after the inauguration. Avid collectors are also pumped. If you actually can find one of those comic books, it's, it's of historical value and, and it's collectible, it's just fun. The read retails here for about four bucks, but copies of the first edition sold on eBay for hundreds. If you missed out on the first edition, and the second edition, there is a third edition coming out next week. Employees here, they don't know how long this is going to go on. Pretty much as long as they keep selling, more editions will come out. I suppose I'll have to get a few third editions too, being the professional geek that I am. <laughs> we learned from comic gurus, Obama and Spider-Man are tight. He read Spider-Man and Conan when he was a kid. He was a big Spider-Man fan. To have him actually star in a book that he reads all the time is pretty cool. Only the cover changes. The story is the same each edition. The chameleon tries to take out Obama and become president. But of course, Spider-Man saves the day as always. Ashley Glass, CBS 12.